Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. On this video, I'm going to be doing my signed DVDs and Blu-ray collection. Um, hopefully, it's it's just part one, or actually just this video. Um, if I find some later on, I guess this will be a part one. But if I find more, I'll have to make a part two. But I think I've got, I found all of them. I think the ones I got that I have signed are here. So normally, you know, in my videos, you see I collect a lot of, um, I collect records, I collect vinyl. And I usually get that signed or a movie poster, um, but there are some times where I would I, I'll get a DVD or Blu-ray signed. So, um, so this will be just me going over my uh, collection. So, cause some I've gotten signed before I was recording making these videos, and the other ones will be um, probably familiar. You'll probably see somebody like, oh yeah, I, I've seen those in your past videos. So some might look familiar, some might be brand new. So I'm excited. I'm excited to check uh, show you guys these. I love seeing people's collection. Um, if you've got any of these or if you've seen these, you know, um, let me know down in the comments, you know, which one's your, which one was your favorite. And, um, yeah, without any further ado, let's just go ahead and uh, I'll show you the collection. Thank you. Phil Brooks, a.k.a. CM Punk, at um, Beyond Fest for him. He was promoting the movie Girl on the Third Floor. And uh, got one item signed, even though my boy Chris tried to get more and got caught and <laughs> got busted. Uh, but there you go. They signed it right there. Best in the world. Uh, Blu-ray signed by CM Punk. And then at a wrestling event, uh, I think I made a video of this, I'm sure, with Chris and Amy, uh, where we met the ECW legend, who's hardcore, one of his legends. ECW Originals, he says right there. Sabu. There we go. On the on my blood sport, ECW, the most violent matches. Got him to sign right there. Really cool. I was going to say, does it have, does it show which one he did? No, but it does have him on there. Right next to Taz there. Tommy Dreamer, Cactus Jack, Deadly Boys. All the old school originals, so yeah, stoked to get Sabu right there. So a lot of room to add. What more. are you doing? Oh, here's a VHS. Check it out, kids. This is what a VHS looks like, and it's look. Oh, look at that! I could actually play it right now. Look at that. Fully rewound. Anyways, so in Die Hard 2, Jeff Langton, where I met at the Lionheart Blu-ray signing, signed his Blue Light Team, like a swap member. So I just happen to have this VHS. And uh, it was cool enough to sign it for me. So I got like one VHS signed. Boom. That's very cool right there. And I thought, you, this will probably look familiar as well. Friday the 13th, the final chapter. That was signature right there. But before my pen started to die, unfortunately. But I got the director, Joseph Zito, at that screening where I got to meet a lot of the cast members. If you guys remember that video. But, uh, yeah, she was cool enough to sign right there for me. One of the, my favorite movie posters is the final chapter poster. So awesome. He signed Ryan the Mask. I thought that was pretty neat. I mean, there's a lot of space right there, but I ain't going to complain. Because I got the director final chapter sign right there. I think that's awesome. So I'll put that right here. Going on with the DVDs. The Masters of Horror signing. If you guys remember that one. Uh, Mick Garris was there. Um, he directed this segment. Of the chocolate, that old Showtime series, Masters of Horror, if you guys remember that series. Um, I was able to get um, Mick to sign right there. And uh, the, the composer, Nicholas Pike, was there, which was a, a surprise. Nobody knew, uh, maybe besides him, of course, and the, it's his friends, and Mick Garris as well, probably. But um, yeah, right there, he showed up. He was a surprise guest. So I thought that was pretty neat. So. Got that signed by Mick and Nicholas Pike. So thank you guys. That was awesome. Also that he was there. I didn't have his episode, but I had this old. It's not bootleg. It's one of the more like rental video store blockbuster kind of cases. If you look at it, where they would sell them afterwards after previewed and all that good stuff. Ernest Dickerson, Spike Lee's old DP, and then he started making his own movies. Choose, and one of my favorites is Tales from the Crypt's Demon Knight. So and maybe if I find a better case. Cause this is just it's on the slip he signed on the actual dvd case so if i get a better case i can just put it on there but if you look he's got the rental stickers and all that good stuff and the horror section on the spine it's pretty funny but uh, i don't know why it's got that weird cut on top of, but whatever i was stoked and i was i was excited to meet ernest dickerson so the fact that he signed it um so excited so that's very cool all right, and now also here, another Masters of Horror um, signing here on that same day. Um, got Joe Dante to sign right there. 
but he's always been he's always super cool and super nice so the fact that he's you know he signed that uh really excited but not just that mick garris as well right on the top right there signed it right there so i'm pretty sure he helped write it as well and uh got mick garris joe dante and also what else i got so check this out so a long time ago dark galaxies at the magnolia location he had this dvd just lying there not lying there but you could buy it actually i got this for free he just had a little section on the um like these little mini posters and i got it for free so i'm like all right sweet i'll take it but the best part was when i opened it up it was signed now good luck figuring that out like if you guys know who that is let me know in the comments because i still don't know but when i opened it I was like, yeah that's pretty sweet i'm like it's signed by who i don't know but uh yeah it could be anyway it could be richard bank be Stuart gordon if you guys have that signature then let me know if you guys got any guesses let me know but yeah this is a red movie castle freak and also in that same section was head of the family upset the head and you're dead look at that cover it's amazing look at that oh man the same thing with this one i uh Opened it up, signed, brought in the DVD. Now that one, no, it looks about the same. That first letter could be an A, right? I don't know who that is, see? But if you guys do, let me know. That would be awesome. Because I got two of those, I don't know. Now, at the Hall Halloween 40 Years of Terror, um, we got to meet Jamie Lee Curtis's um, stunt double. And she was really cool. She had a lot of stories. She was awesome. We got, um, right there. See that? Oh, sorry for that glare. Hold on. She was nice enough to sign it right there. Donna Keegan, right there. True Lies, Jamie Lee's son double. She was super nice. Really cool to meet. Lots of amazing stories. So, she signed, uh, right there. True Lies. I remember when Schwarzenegger needed a viable hit. Been striking out, called his boy Cameron again. Like, yo, I need a hit. I need a movie. Cameron's like, I got you. And it came out True Lies. Awesome, awesome movie. I haven't seen it in a long time, but. Uh, look at that, Freddy. Robert England, Jonathan Tucker, and Dance of the Dead. This one was directed by Toby Hooper, the late, great Toby Hooper. Um, based on the short story by Richard Matheson. Who was nice enough to sign right there for me. Again, the composer, Nicholas Pike, and Mick Garris. Sign all right there. Dance of the Dead. That was a, such a fun series on Showtime. It was a cool, unique idea of Mick Garris getting all these masters of horror, pretty much. And uh, doing all these cool, like, you know, one-hour little movies um, and premiering every night. It was a lot of fun. It was really cool. So, kudos to him for... Um, getting everyone to do this and, and you know now we have all these movies to always look back and watch them later and at the Hollywood show in 2019 I got this one right here Mortal Kombat with uh, unfortunately the inks wiping away there unfortunately but it's, if you can read that it says your soul is mine but the way Carrie Hiroyuki Tagawa says it you can see my sign right there um, the old Warner Brothers this was a new line, but they were notorious to doing these snap cases like that. You know, you can never put them in the shelf. Um, but yeah, your soul is mine, as you would say. I mean, you can't think of uh, anyone else better to play Shang Tsung than Karyuki Takawa. In fact, they put him in the new Mortal Kombat video game. So that is awesome. I brought this and showed down a little Tokyo, and I asked him which one he wanted to sign. He said it was up to me, and I'm like, man, if it was up to me, I would have had you sign both. But, uh,. You know, the funds was running low, so I had to pick one. I figured everyone ever, everyone knows him from Mortal Kombat, so I figured this was a wise choice. But um, there you go. Got him a sign right there. And then at Monster Palooza, um, I got the great Rick Baker to sign right there. You know, he looks like he signed it really fast. Didn't finish it, but, you know, did the amazing effects here on American Werewolf in London. All-time classic on the, my collector's edition Blu-ray. I own probably three or more copies of this in different versions, different formats. But this one's signed right here by 
the man, the legend, Rick Baker. So sweet. Like the wolf's about to eat his, eat his signature. So, stoked. Stoked to get him. Such a nice, pleasant man. I love, love meeting him. He's always so cool. And a funny story with this one, Kirsch, <laughs> he was he kind of worked on it, but uh, kind of didn't. So I brought this to him sign. He goes, uh, I didn't work on that. I won't sign that. I'm like, okay, totally cool. But I know you you worked on American War for London. So he was hired on to this. If you guys don't know, you know, read up on the story of uh, Rick Baker and Kirsch. Not too much of a fan of it, but I, you know, I found this at Book Off. It was the unrated version, which I hear is a lot better, which it was, um, so it's got, that's a little more cool gore and everything. But it's a West Craven film. It's uh, people, people are divided about it. Some people like it, but you know, it's produced by Kim Williamson. Team between him, him the team, him and uh, Craven worked on Scream. So uh, you know, you got young cast. You got Pacey, um, uh, Wednesday Adams right here. I'm drawing a blank on her name. Christina Ricci. You got Eisenberg, Judy Greer. Uh, Shannon Elizabeth. So yeah, um, fun cool movie. But the signature that I got was uh, Derek Mears, uh, who played the wolf. He did the stunts. He did. He was. He was the one in the costume. So he's always a nice guy. I was standing in line at Palooza. Or he was talking to his friend, and I waited patiently, and I uh, got him to sign it. And uh, yeah, so he's really cool. Um, speaking of Scream, Wes Craven, Kevin Williamson. Here it is. I got. If you can read that. That was, uh, that's David Arquette's signature. Um, he got, I met him at a, uh, what was it? Um, they were showing Scream at the TCL Chinese Theater. And in fact, that was like the first time myself, Scott, and Christian all hung out. That was the first time I met Christian. And uh, we all went out and saw this and had a Q&A. And, &A and uh, it was really cool. Um, he was really cool and signed it for me. He was the only one that was there for the Q&A afterwards. But he was awesome. And, uh. Oh, Scream is one of my favorite horror movies, so the fact that I got him to sign. And Palooza, I was I would have had three more signatures to this. Um, because Ned Campbell was supposed to be there. And uh Matthew Lillard and Jamie Kennedy. But that and that all fell through thanks to COVID. But um uh hopefully one day I'll get to meet I get to meet you know Cindy Prescott. Um But yeah, David Arquette signed right there. One of my very first early Dark Dell signings way way back when I met Mirrors are key. It's our key or is our chi? I'm not sure. Right there. Directed by Mirrors are key. Um, yeah. The original director of I Spit on Your Grave. I was there for a signing for the remake. I Spit on Your Grave. And um, he was there as well. So I was like, yeah, you're going to be there? I'm totally bringing this. And uh, yeah. This one's, uh, you know, Camille, Camille Keaton. She's amazing in this. Um, yeah. If you look, it's got second bone commentary with Cho Paul Briggs. Um, but yeah, this one's, uh, the AK Dead Day of the Woman, I Spit in Your Grave. You know, it's just a red title, red cover, um, iconic, um, you know, it gets, it's brutal, but, um, if you like, if you like revenge flicks, uh, you know, if you like to see bad guys get up there coming, like, this is the one, this is an awesome one to watch. And they've made, like, three or four of the uh, sequels to these or something, I don't know, it's crazy, but the original, it's just... It's amazing. I got him to sign right there. Such a nice guy. But that was the first, one of my very first like signatures way back in the day. Um, so now let's go to the Blu-ray section here. Which I got Steve Niles to sign it. One of the Tales of Halloween signings. The years are the years are all uh, blending together. So I can't, if I can't, I can't remember. I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, got him to sign Third Days of Night because he wrote the comic. Um, and this is, this is an awesome vampire movie. Which is such a cool concept. You know, if you don't, yeah. 30 Days of Night pretty much says the title. So, vampires can walk around free, do some damage. So, uh, Steve now is saying that, which is awesome. Oh, I got another DVD here, I forgot. Uh, by Lloyd Kaufman himself uh, for uh, Blood Sucking Freaks. This was like early, early Comic Con back in the day. He's always there at his booth. Always such a nice guy. You buy DVDs, Blu rays from their booth, he'll, auto, he'll sign them. No questions asked. He'll always sign, take a picture with you. Super cool with his fans. But uh, this, yeah, this movie's checked up. Uh, you know, if you've seen any trauma movies, you know, you know, you're know getting yourself into. There's a Sarah Dunn sticker. This film contains scenes of guts and disgusting. Uh, I can't even read it now. A little over it. If you're not disgusted, you should see a shrink. <laughs> awesome classic trauma taglines there. So, yeah. Lloyd was cool enough to sign that for me. And uh, let's see. And another early, early on Dark Dell signing. Um, 
when the Blu-ray came out. This one and another one movie came out. Hills Run Red. Um, but that was a DVD for that one. I got spoiler. Michael Doherty wrote right there. One of the first uh, signings of Dark Dell. This was another one, one of the early ones. No video of that, unfortunately, but I do have pictures. And uh, he's always nice. He's always cool to me. And this was this movie came out. Oh, I couldn't wait to have it on Blu-ray. If you look, it's the original slipcover, not the Shell Factory one, the one that Devin did. But this is the first original Blu-ray from back in the day. Um, but yeah, I got Michael to sign that. It's so sick. A little Sam smile in the background. Yeah, love this movie. Such a great, great movie. Love it. It's a trick or treat right there. Now this was recently the Jaws 40th anniversary. If you guys see one of my videos, you should know that uh, we got um, Joel Alves signed it. Did a lot of the creature effect. I know, unfortunately, he smeared it right there. Such a bummer. I know, but still, got him to sign that. Got Tom Joyner right there, the first assistant director, the original Jaws, who was a surprise that we didn't know he was going to show up, and he showed up and uh, had to had to get him to sign my Blu-ray since he was there. Right next to Joel Alves there. So Jaws, you know, come on. I mean, what can you say about Jaws? It's a, it's, it's a perfect film. Can't say that about a lot of movies, but um, you ask anybody, they'll tell you. This is a, this is a perfect movie. Got it in that slipcover. Boom. And another Blu-ray. Joel Alves directed the third one. So this one's not smeared. He always likes to draw a little shark, which I think is cool. So if you guys remember this one, it tastes like in the sea world. Louis Gossett. Oh, this was a fun movie as well. Dark Dennis Quaid. Kids are all grown up. This is a fun movie as well. But yeah, Jaws 3. Gotta take advantage while they were all there. Get that signed as well. So cool. I realize how much Blu-rays and DVDs I did have signed. So, uh, one of my favorite movies of all time, The Crow. I had David Scow signed right there. I love his signature. It's always really cool. It's always really neat. He worked on the screenplay, I believe, right? If not, he... Where's his name? I'm looking for it. Come on, I know you're there. There it is, screenplay by David J. Scow and John Shirley. So, yeah, I'd love to meet James O'Barr. I still have yet to meet him. I would love to meet him. I'd have so many things for him to sign. <laughs> I had to have this, uh, that soundtrack, this Blu-ray, a couple action figures I got of his, and a movie poster. Well, definitely a poster, for sure. Um, but yeah, got him to sign there, and uh, stoked. Love that. I have this movie in so many versions, VHS, I think ripped off a pay-per-view way back in the day from an old adjustable box or the old black box and uh i had it on D got it on dvd got it on blu-ray and i'll probably keep purchasing it you know again here we are donna keegan again signing it right here robocop you're like what robocop donna keegan yeah she played um the woman that a two hijackers are trying to jack trying to rape and uh if you remember robocop deals with them thugs by uh shooting one of them shooting his nuts off and uh she, he, he's gonna tell her he'll call a crisis um number if she she, she thinks she she needs help and uh no she it, it's just a funny scene if you you know you you know that scene so but that's her she plays that woman um so it was really cool to hear those stories and it's like a long night shoot and everything so my boy chris um his video from palooza i'm sorry for the 40 years of terror you watch that video she has rad stories about it so you know robocop unrated director's cut funny story about this one got at the dollar tree if you guys remember my old video, I got this. Yeah, I bought it for a dollar. I'd buy that for a dollar, and I did. And it was the unrated director's cut. How cool is that for a dollar? I mean, come on. You can't get it. That's the biggest find I'll ever have right there. All right, well, crime is a disease. Here, meet the cure. Mar Stallone as Cobra. Marion Cobra, the star strong arm of the law. And I got Sylvester Stallone sign right there. Yup, that's Stallone's signature. Don't get it twisted. Might look like something else. Might be upside down, might be different. But that's it. Sylvester Stallone right there. Eat your heart out. I know. Exciting, right? No. I'm so, uh, that's not Stallone. Um, it's Jeff Langdon who uh, he did stunts in this movie. Uncredited, but he uh, I showed it to him and he was stoked to sign it. So, yeah. Uh, right there. Jeff Langdon. The stupid glare. Check it out. Right there. Got a match. Man cutting pizza with, a, with some scissors. Come on, bro. How can you not like that movie, man? Come on. Movie straight up alpha right there. Boom, and then I got Beyond the Gates. Look at this one. This one's just covered with signatures right here. If you've seen that signing, um, then you know um, all the signatures right here. It's too hard to remember all of them, besides Barbara Crampton. That's the easiest one. 
but uh, everyone that was there super cool super nice to meet um if you guys you know go back to that video you can see you can get this beautiful blue ray getting signed up so uh yeah that was a fun event too because i went to go see the poltergeist house before this signing uh, me and scott check out the poltergeist house so if you guys check out this video um we visit the house before this signing so really fun movie as well Jackson Stewart, man, they're so cool too. Different, just me, you know, Chase Graham, and then I believe, um, wow, what's her name? Brie Grant, yeah, Brie Grant. She's awesome. She's rad. In my video, I talked to her for a little while too. She's wearing a Suspiria shirt. Um, she was really cool. Oh, there she's right there. Boom. So yeah, very fun, very fun, cool movie. Check that out. You guys are gonna trip out on this one? Disney movie, a movie called Heavyweights, starring Ben Stiller, Keenan Thompson, you got Goldberg from The Mighty Ducks. And right here, Aaron Schwartz signed it. Jerry himself, right there. You're like, what? A Disney movie? What? How, what is going on here in this selection? Well, funny story about this one. My boy Brendan, aka Wet Movie One, hooked me up with this one right here. He had a bunch of copies, and uh, he was nice enough. I told him uh, I was gonna show this to my kids, and uh, if I, well, one of my wife's uh, favorite movies as a kid, and he's like, you know what? Hold on, man. I'll hook you up with this. Um, so he hooked it up. How rad is that? So Aaron Schwartz, thank you. Brendan, thank you for this one. So Jerry signing right there, heavyweights. Sorry, Ben Stiller. If you guys seen this movie, you guys already know. Wait, written by Judd Apatow, Stephen Bro. You just uh, a, lot, a huge case. You see a lot of people in there too. Keenan Thompson, like I said, and uh, just a fun, fun movie. The scene with the blob, it's hilarious. So yeah, if you guys haven't seen that, heavyweights, it's a fun movie right there. Speaking of Jeff Langton, and them earlier, we're talking about him with the uh, Lionheart right here. Uh, I mean, this this one's just. This one's a uh, slam with signatures right here. If you guys go back to this one, um, this signing, again, you'll see them all, you'll see it all get signed up. I think they just do this, the slip cover, right? Just, or the, yeah, the slip case, because it would be too much if they did the, the front. That's what I thought, yeah. Van Damme and Lionheart, um, you know, he's a French Legionnaire, he's on the, on the run, helping out his dead brother's wife and his uh, little niece. Um, and what's funny enough, too, um, directed by Sheldon Leitich, Leitich, who directed him in Double Impact as well. Um, um, also, Mohamed Kisi, who plays um, Tong Po in Kickboxer. He was one of the Legionnaires in this. I thought that was funny, kind of funny. It's got Langdon. You got Christian Paco as well on there. Um, just a lot of cool cool signatures on here. I can't name all of them again, like I said. But uh, if, you, if you watch that video, you'll um, you'll see them all. You'll see this, you'll see this Blu-ray get signed up. So one of the M MVD Rewind Collections. Lionheart, and uh, you know, this one he was coming out, he had already done Blur Kickboxer, then he did this one, Lionheart, and Death Warrants, almost looks like the same cover, he's got the same pose, except in Death Warrants, he's got jeans and a white shirt, switch with the tank top, same pose, but, uh, yeah, so this one's, uh, you remember his, his, um, his, uh, his buddy that helps him out while he's in LA, he's just, uh, Lionheart King of the Jungle, yeah, this is a fun movie, old school Van Damme flick, so Lionheart, look at that, signed up on oh, next next here is um the curse of la llorona i know some people don't like some people it's mixed it's part of the conjuring universe um i liked it i thought it was cool i you know i'm i'm hispanic heritage so i've you know i grew up with this folklore and it scared the crap out of me as a kid so any if you're mexican you know this you know you know the story of la llorona but the lovely marisol ramirez signed it right there for me la llorona herself i miss hijos signed right there um, you know, very cool. She was super cool to me. Like I said, Monster Palooza. Again, the years are uh, they're messed up. Um, yeah, if you go back to my videos, you should see where you get to sign and meet her and talk to her. She's really cool. So, you know, sorry, Linda Carlini. It's a cool movie. I liked it. Uh, like I said, I I know the story. So to me, it's it's always been in, in like my um, psyche since as a kid. So um, when they finally released it as a movie, I'm like, oh, I'll definitely check it out. I wasn't disappointed. Like I said, it could have been scarier um a lot of cg but i don't know i thought she I thought she did cool and the, I, I dug the look of her so um i dug it so so then my boy scott savage scott um you've seen my videos went to the pet cemetery blues um release i unfortunately could not make it but he was kind enough to get it signed for me by the composer christopher young there and dennis widmeyer and kevin Kolsch, right there the co-directors kevin Kolsch, dennis widmeyer um, signed it right there and right there. So, if you guys fans of this movie, let me know. Um, kind of polarizing, I'm sure. People, 
seem to really enjoy it. Some people don't like it. I'm kind of, uh, I kind of, I like the original a lot, so I'm old school, but, you know, um, you know. Thanks, Scott, for hooking it up. Give me that Blu-ray. Appreciate it. Looks nice. Right there. And then recently, um, this Blu-ray came out. Unfortunately, there wasn't a signing for it because of the whole, you know, situation we got going on right now. But uh, they had uh, Dave Parker and um, David Scow pre-signed them for us, for all the customers that bought them at Dark Delicacies. And uh, there we go. This is a red movie. This is a fun movie right here. If you guys haven't seen this, Babyface. I was hoping they'd make sequels, and I was hoping he could make it into, like, the not the horror icon, like the Mount Rushmore, but at least, you know, be in the in the running or mentioned, like, you know, with uh, like the second or third tiers of, you know, the horror slashers, you know, kind of like... Uh, I don't want to lump them in with other ones, but just, you know, some guys that just don't get the same recognition, like uh, the Miner or like um, Cropsy, you know, one of those guys. I was hoping he, you know, he can get in there and then makes it thrown in there as well. But it's a really cool look, and it's such a fun movie. Dave Parker did a main job. Every time I run into him, I always ask for like a sequel. And he's like, yeah, me too, buddy. He's like, he'd want to make one too. A lot of cool features, and uh, yeah, David Scow and um, uh, Dave Parker signing right there, the director. So. Very cool, very cool indeed. Now, the last one right here, as you can see right in the background, Dark Delicacies, another one of my um, uh, old school, original, the Magnolia location. Got uh, got this signed up here. Um, funny story, too, about this one. I met George Carpenter the same day. His signing was the first signing I'd gone to. Where I met him for the very first time at Golden Apple and got my Lost Teams album signed, which is right up there. So this same day, I, I uh, met John Carpenter. He signed that album uh, a couple blocks down, you know, go down to Burbank. And um, let me move these blue out of the way here so there's more light. So you guys can see there's a block in it. There we go. There we go. There we go. So, um, yeah, it's a funny story. So, again, like I said, I... Uh, uh, Dark, Del Dark Delicacies he's had a signing for Christine and uh, I was, where everyone was hoping that oh maybe he'll just show, pop up to this one and get it signed but he didn't show up but look at this bad boy here this is like <laughs> just signed up to like the prim like it's so it's so many people were there at that signing people had a sign in the back I mean look at that I wish I had video of it I, I, I have pictures I can probably post but I wish I was doing videos back today because this was an awesome signing but if you look at Kim Gollum Walker right there. You got guys that are doing the stunts. You got producers that were there. I mean, you got even Alan. I, I recognize Alan Howard's signature right there. You got cast and crew. Uh, in fact, later on in life, I did meet John Carp. You know, got him to finally sign it right there. But that was like another signing. But if you look, you got Stu. I mean, you got on the side here. There's so many. Um, Eddie right there. And we've got William Mosslander, you know, Alexandra Paul right there. You can see, you can see some names, some names will pop up right there, as you can see. Um, that was such a fun scene. And they, and they had Christine there. They had the car there. Take pictures outside. I'll post pictures with that as well at the end of the video. But isn't that rad? Check that out. I mean, that's, this is probably like the one I have the most signatures on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, this thing is beautiful. Look at that, so red. But there you go. So that's all of them right there, man. Got a you know cool little DVD Blu-ray signed collection there for you guys. Kind of want to share that with you guys since uh, we're home, can't do anything. Woo! Don't fall. Kind of want to show you those. You know, if you guys like that. At that final chapter, it's Friday the 13th final chapter screening. I also brought the Prowler uh, DVD for Joseph Zito to sign. And he saw it right there for me. It's pretty cool, which is another. Um, this is underrated. Blue Underground released this a long time ago. It's around 1981, 89 minutes with, with uh, Tom Savini effects. I mean, look at this. Lots of cool gore effects, man. This movie's awesome. If you guys haven't seen this, definitely check it out. The Prowler. Yeah, this one's rad. Check this one out for sure if you guys haven't seen it already. If you have, you know what I'm talking about. Really cool death scenes in this one. Also known as Rosemary's Killer. I think it was like that in the 
UK or not, but then check it out. There's that one. And then I forgot this one here. Um, had both um, the played Santa, Eric Freeman from Silent Night, Daily Night 2, who wrote It's Garbage Day, which is awesome. Famous line there, Robert Brian Wilson. He played Billy in the first one. Signed my uh, Silent Night, Daily Night double feature. Christmas Survival double feature, says up here. Two to set. Original unrated version. Which is funny, if you watch the second one, it's like half of like part one. It's like 45 minutes of part one. And like flashbacks in the second one, so it's kind of funny. But Eric Freeman, It's Garbage Day. Robert Brian Wilson played Billy from the first one. Signed right there. It's real cool. Really fun flake. I love this. I love these. I don't know what happened there. Got jacked up, but very cool. Love that. Got these two signed right here. And here, look at this one. Slumber Party Massacre. Um, this was a collection, so it has ones, two, and three. Right here. Part two and three on the single disc. Part one's on this one by itself. And, uh, now, this was jam packed. This was on a Beyond Fest, so I got a bunch of signatures here. I had to work, I had to do, your boy had to do some work to get a bunch of these signatures. <laughs> but on um, Beyond Fest, I got to meet Deborah DeLiso, played Kim, Brink Stevens at a, um, at a Days of the Scream Queens. I got her later on. I got the killer of Michael Villella. He was a surprise guest, he wasn't announced, and he showed up. So I got him to sign there as well. Joseph A. Johnson. Um, uh, there's another one here. Amy, got the director, Amy Jones right here, and uh, sorry for the glare, and then I got another one right here, I'm trying to, Joseph Johnson, Brink, Amy, this one right here, I'm slipping right here, I can't remember, um, but Deborah, and then the killer Michael, and then also in the insert here, I got um, from part two, Deborah Brock, the director, and then Heidi, who played Sally, right here. All oh, these pictures are going to get me in trouble on YouTube here, huh? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there we go. Let's rock. Let's drill. Yeah, so that's really cool because, like I said, um, since it was all a collection one, I got them signed uh, afterwards as well. So nothing from three, unfortunately. But, yeah, this one's, you know, another another beauty. A bunch of them signed. The Ultimate Driller Killer Thrillers. So I'm stoked on this one as well. Got one uh, bonus um, item for you guys. Since I don't really have... Um, that many CDs signed. I only have one signed. And it's pretty cool. Because it's the House of a Thousand Corpses soundtrack. And at Comic Con way back in. I want to say 8 or 9. 7 maybe. I got Rob Zombie himself to sign it. Is it like this? Like that. Yeah. Rob Zombie. Um, signed the House of a Thousand Corpses soundtrack for me. But not only that. I'm going to open it up. Very cool. Got Dr. Satan. Dr. Satan. Dr. Satan. You got... Bill Mosley's Otis P. Driftwood. Um, but not only that, so you open up the book. It's got the late great Sid Haig. Rest in peace. Got him to sign that for me there. It's beautiful. I love it. Rest in peace, Captain Spaulding. And then there, we got Otis. Bill Mosley right there to sign. Very cool. Um... Unfortunately, a lot of people from this movie are, are not, no longer with us, man. So, um, Sherry Moon, not yet. I need to get Sherry Moon. I haven't gotten her yet. Um, who else? Let's see. Open up a little more. Karen Black, unfortunately, is no longer with us, and I didn't get her signature. It's just a bummer. Mother Firefly herself, rest in peace. And also, Grandpa, rest in peace. Didn't, didn't get him, unfortunately, either. So it's a bummer because this is like perfect to get everyone signed because they're all on here. Um, Tom Tolls no longer with us as well. Rest in peace. Uh, Walton Goggins though, he's still alive. Maybe get him one day, right there, huh? But yeah, man, like it's kind of scary how many people are dead from this movie. Um, Rufus, the Firefly, didn't get him, but he was in Midsummer Scream. She got him. I forgot about my soundtrack. Like, he was there. Totally missed that freaking opportunity. Um, Irwin Keys at Comic Con. Boom. Got him. Got one right there. So, you know, he was such a nice guy to meet. And uh, one of my very early, early signatures way back when uh, from Comic-Con. He was there. He had, a, he, was, he had a little booth. So, got him to sign that for me. And uh, and also Tiny. No longer with us. Matthew McCrory. Fortunately, not with us as well. So, damn. Like I said, it's kind of sad when you think about how many people aren't 
aren't uh, aren't, aren't around anymore from, from House of Thousand Corpses. So, but a really cool CD. But Rob Zombie himself right there. Boom. How you like that? Pretty sweet, huh? So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Give my my show you my Blu-ray and DVDs. I said Blu-ray DVDs, but they're both Blu-rays. Blu-rays signature. Look at that one. That's amazing. I still can't get over that one. Um, you know, I just wanted to show you the signatures, the signings, and uh, just give you a little, fun little video for you guys. I think that's pretty much, I think, all of them. I think my next one I want to do is maybe well, my posters that I've signed. I got a bunch of those, and maybe that would be a fun video to make for you guys too as well. Um, but if you guys like that, if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a like. Press that like button. Um, if there's any other videos, any other ideas you want, um, put it on the comment section, you know. But again, I really appreciate you guys watching this video. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. And uh, I don't know when we'll have another signing or when I get my next signature. I don't think we've gotten anything for 2020. But um, just besides that, Hills Run Red. But again, it was pre-signed. But like an actual event where we can go there in person, get signatures, meet them, and, and uh, get pictures. So I guess maybe not till 2021. So if these can, uh, this will have to do for now, I guess. <laughs> so like I said, if you like this video, hit the like button, leave some comments. Thanks for subscribing, and uh, until the next video.